Okay, welcome to another Lunar Flight video. And in this series that I'm doing at the moment, we reset our lunar, for our lunar Flight profile back to zero so that we didn't have any upgrades. Completed a couple missions on the first map, and now I'm transitioning over to the second map to uh, complete a couple more missions to get some more money. And, um, you know, we can do more upgrades at that point. In the very last video, I completely fumbled the landing and caused the, the uh, lunar module to flip over and basically explode, so that was a fail. So let's go ahead and try again. Let's go, so mission four, that's a data survey. We like lost cargo, so that's gonna be southwest of Delta or west of Bravo. So let's see, we are currently at Bravo, so let's do the west of Bravo mission. So we will hit accept, go to cargo, make sure our transponder's turned on, bring up the map, and let's go ahead and buy fuel, even though we should be okay. But uh, you never know, you might need it. All right, so let me think about what direction. So I'm currently facing southeast, and I want to be going west. So I get, I get quite confused in the controls sometimes. Do I, need to go, do I need to rotate right or left? Probably doesn't matter a whole lot. But if I rotate to the south and around to the west, it's a little bit shorter. So if I'm currently facing, you know what? I'm not gonna try to figure it out. Uh, let's, uh, yeah, let's just power up and go find the module. Let me think here. All right, we're gonna take the scenic route. <laughs> so we wanna go to our west. Let's translate forward. Let's actually just go ahead and pitch forward and get some forward velocity. And let's bring the vessel back to the zero position on the pitch. And we have some uh, some roll to correct. And we still have a little bit on our yaw, so let's get rid of that. All right, and let's just start looking for the module. I think it might be, I think it might be right there. So I'm gonna keep an eye on that spot. Let's go ahead and pitch down again and take a look at that spot. Yeah, I feel like that is most definitely going to be our lost cargo right there. That little white dot that we can just barely see glimmering. And as usual, if that is the case, then as usual, I found it before the transponder ever gave us any help. So we'll just keep moving towards that spot. Pitch down a little bit again. Yeah, I think that is definitely it. All right, let's slow down our descent. And we'll take out some forward velocity now. I'm looking at that V camera in the lower right and I can't see that spot on the camera. Let me just pitch down really quick. But yeah, that's definitely it. Okay. And I have no information from the transponder. Maybe I didn't turn the transponder back on. I thought I did. Let me just check the transponder really quick. Oh, yeah, it's on. You just have to be more or less on top of the lost cargo before before the transponder ever kicks in. I feel like that's definitely one of the upgrades that you should be able to get is increased transponder range. And maybe a directional indicator for the transponder as well. 
so instead of like one blue LED, you have like a north, south, east, west LED. So it's like cut, you know, down the middle and then cut in half. And then it kind of gives you an indication of like, oh, it's this signal's coming from your left, from your right and so on, or behind you or in front of you. All right, so we almost have the module. So this time, can we land without killing ourselves? All right, so we'll go to the cargo page, turn off the transponder, recover the module, see where it needs to go, put that on the map, and then we'll return to that location. So this one's going to Delta. So let's bring Delta up on the map. And let's head over to, to Delta. All right, let me take care of this roll angle first. Because sometimes when you land on the side of these cliffs, you, it gives you, it like leans the vessel a little bit, basically. All right, and let's rotate around. All right, we just got the 50% fuel warning. So let's just go ahead and immediately grab some fuel. Oops, I completely spaced out and forgot to start eliminating my yaw. So let's get toward facing the direction of Delta. About right there, and we'll pitch over and head in that direction. So we're 1.5 kilometers away, so we can afford to put in a bit more forward velocity than we have previously, but we do need to remember to uh, pitch back sooner than we have been so we can start getting rid of that forward velocity, approximately the halfway point. We're moving at a pretty good rate, so I'm going to go ahead and stick with that forward velocity. Translate just a bit to the left because I can see we're a bit off target. Switch to the C camera, and we have a bit of roll. And let's yaw more towards that direction. All right, so we're about one kilometer out, so we still have a ways to go. I gotta check. There was something in the back of my mind that I was thinking of checking. I don't remember what. All right, let me yaw just a little bit more in this direction. I like to be pretty much facing directly ahead. <clears throat> so we're getting pretty close to the halfway point. We started out at 1.5 kilometers out. So let's start pitching backwards now start bleeding off some of this forward velocity. All right, let's keep moving forward. Bring our V rate to zero. All right, so now we're moving at about a little less than six meters per second, about 500 meters to go. There's the half half warning again for the fuel, but I think I think we can, let's not risk it because I don't want to be coming in for landing and then have to quickly reach over for fuel. About 380 meters out, moving at almost six meters per second. V camera shows that we're on target. Get a little bit closer, then we'll pitch back and eliminate some more of this forward velocity. Right, let me go ahead and increase my V rate a little bit. And now we'll start.
pitching back. The RCS is pretty weak at the moment, so we don't want to leave too much forward velocity left to uh, have to eliminate with those RCS thrusters because they're quite weak as I'm finding since I've done the reset. Once you get everything fully upgraded, uh, the RCS is pretty good and you can afford to come in a bit hot. So now I've got the, the power level locked at 43.9 and I can just tap the, the right trigger to increase it a little bit. I'm trying to find that buoyancy point. All right, start eliminating some forward velocity. I'm gonna go ahead and unlock because I feel more comfortable controlling the V-rate this way. All right, so I think we got this landing no problem this time. Okay, so we're just gonna do a quick touchdown here and unload. There we go, we got it this time. Good job us. All right, refuel, go to the cargo and we'll unload the cargo. While we're unloading the cargo, we'll grab more fuel. And hey, we got a rank up. So let's see if we can afford, um, I have to wait for the shop menu to come back up. Let's see if we can afford more upgrades now. So I feel like RCS is a bit more important. So let's see if we can get the level two. All right, we got it. And then we'll do, uh, we'll do fuel efficiency next, if we can afford it. And then lastly, we'll do thrust. Okay, we can't afford it. All right, so let's close out and not save that. And let's just do, let's try to do one more mission really quick. This time, uh, due to lack of time, we'll do maybe a transport. So we need to transport cargo to alpha. Okay, let's do that. So we'll accept that, select the navigation map and let's hover up and go towards Alpha. And Alpha's already on the map, so... And it's only 645 meters away. All right, let's pitch forward and head over there. what our vessel looks like as we're pitching over. And we have a little more fuel efficiency now, a little bit better RCS. So maybe we can come in a little bit faster than we have been previously and still be able to compensate with the more uh, powerful RCS. But that's, uh, that's coming in pretty quickly. So let's go ahead and pitch back and start getting rid of some of this. feels maybe a little more comfortable, but let's pitch over to the level point and see how things are progressing. All right, let's see if we can just uh, stay at the zero point on our pitch now and just control everything with, with RCS going forward. So let's eliminate some of this V-rate. And I'm gonna practice the power hold again. So I'm held the power at 34. Hands are off the controller now. I'm gonna tap a little bit on the left trigger 
and I'm going to take out some forward velocity. Now I need to tap a little bit more on the right trigger to increase our V rate a little bit. And I'm frequently looking at that camera in the lower left. I find that pretty helpful. So now my thinking is to get a little bit more over top of the pad. And I guess over here I can do the top down. Start eliminating some forward velocity. And I'm going to drop the power hold. And just control it manually now. So now we're coming in over top of the solar panels. I can see that in the lower left camera. And I think we're pretty well on target for the, the landing pad. So mostly it's just a vertical descent now, but we still have to go forward a little bit. So we want to watch our V-rate. All right, so we should be coming in over the top of the pad here very soon, and we'll see that on the center monitor. There it is. So now we just need to descend. And all four pegs are on the landing pad now. So as long as we touch down anywhere at this point, we're good. All right, there it is. All right, let's refuel. Let's go to our cargo and unload. Get some more money. And let's see if we can afford that other upgrade that we couldn't get last time, which I think was the thrust. Yeah, it was the thrust. All right, so now we have all of our level two upgrades. All right, so that's gonna wrap it up for, for now. And I think uh, the next time I record these lunar flight videos, if I come back to it, uh, we'll take a look at the third map and we'll be able to perhaps do a few more missions on there and complete the rest of our upgrades. So you can see this game is uh, pretty uh, pretty small in the sense that you know there isn't a lot to do and getting your upgrades comes in pretty quick so it doesn't take very long to max out your vessel to the uh, to the highest point. But it is still quite enjoyable to mess around with it from time to time. Uh, it's a much simpler game than something like Orbiter. So sometimes it's fun just to you know lean back, relax, grab your controller and just kind of hop around the different bases a little bit. All right, so that's going to be it for now, and I will see you in the next Lunar Flight video, if there is one.